Dion, last weekend, these streets were totally packed, but as you can tell, no one's here. In Harrisonburg, police are telling me overall last weekend was pretty quiet. They're not sure why, but they tell me they wanted to keep it like wet, that way. We start with that breaking news tonight. Police at a home blocking several streets. And we are trying to figure out what's going on so you'll know too. WHSV's Annalisa Gale is there live tonight. Annalisa, tell us what you're finding out. Dion, Virginia State Police is monitoring this entrance to Old Furnace Road right now. It is closed. As you can see, the officer on site says he does not know how long it will be closed for, but he did say that he is redirecting anyone coming through this entrance to Blue Ridge Road. Right now, the Harrisonburg Fire Department and the Harrisonburg Police Department are on site. They're just up this hill. They're not permitting anyone to get too close. I did see them on the phone. As for what they're talking about, we do not know. And as for what is going on, we are still unsure. We will continue to monitor this situation throughout the night. Live in Harrisonburg, Annalisa Gale, WHSV. New at 11, your summer vacation may be ending, but some businesses are looking forward to the fall. WHSV's David Coy is live tonight and explains what some people are doing to end the summer with a bang. David. Dion, this is about the time when people are coming back or going toward their final vacation for the summer or possibly the year. But one couple tells me that they're excited for the fall for their own vacation. We continue to follow breaking news. You're looking at a live picture in Harrisonburg. Police on the scene, state police, and we're told a new unit of officers are there now. There is some type of situation going on in a neighborhood. Streets are blocked. Annalisa Gale finding new information and she'll bring it to us in the next two minutes. Dion, just a few minutes ago, Stanton police, along with several other unmarked police cars, arrived on the scene, just spoke to a neighbor. He says when he was leaving the neighborhood at 8 p.m., two police officers were already in the area. And as you can see behind me, that number has grown tremendously. Again, we will continue to monitor this situation throughout the night. Live in Harrisonburg, Annalisa Gale, WHSV. New at 11, Democratic Congressman Luis Gutierrez of Chicago made his way to the Valley tonight and had some strong words about immigration reform. Gutierrez is a leading advocate for changing legislation to include a path to citizenship. Some 11 million people in the U.S. are here illegally. The congressman spoke outside of Court Square tonight to a crowd of more than 400 supporters. I came here to speak to those of you who want to fight for justice and fairness and equality in this nation and to tell you you're not alone and that this movement is deep and it is broad and it is going to win because we are determined never to fail our immigrant community. Virginia Congressman Bob Goodlatte was invited to the public rally but says he couldn't make it due to a prior engagement. Gutierrez says the two could agree on more than they disagree when it comes to immigration reform. 